Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL's Advanced Edition here on board the Stealth Cruiser Type C, the VSS High Noon. Now up until now, our ship has been able to just barely scrape through all of the messes we've been thrown at, thanks to the uh, wonderful repair power of our hull repair drone. Our weapons are pretty abysmal, but our defenses are decent, and our crew is pretty good with a vast selection of different races. For now, though, it's time for us to just jump onwards and hopefully be able to make something out of all this mess. What do we find over here? It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of our passing. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive, and if it gets away, it'll warn the fleet of our position. We can't have that, no, can we? This is going to make things difficult for us, though, because... Okay, hacks the clone bay, that's fine. They have four bars of shields, and they're running, which means we basically can't stop them. It's conceivably possible, but we have to hit a lot of charge ions in a row here. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. We basically have to hit all of them. Alright, now we're going to go for a shot here. Can we hit them with the charge lasers? Nope. Alright, hopefully that counts as our misses, and we don't miss any more ions now. That's a miss, and... Ooh, that one missed us too. That's really lucky. Unfortunately, they're back up to full power, so I don't think we can actually do any damage to them before they run away. Which sucks. We could just jump onwards ourselves. I think I will. We're going to jump on here to the next fight. There's no point staying there. We're just going to lose. So let's jump onwards and see what we can do. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station without functioning sensors. We can't tell what's inside. Well, let's attack them to get to the station then, because why not? Alright, they've mind controlled one of our Lanius, which is kind of annoying. We should be able to get him out of there pretty quickly. We need to get the charge ions going again on the shields, and they have a rocket launcher as well, which is not great for us, but thankfully our shields are actually doing okay. Let's get you out of there, Vigilante. They can break the doors if they want. Alright, rocket coming in. We're gonna dodge that one, thank you. I think I actually didn't need to dodge that. I dodged it after it missed. Let's get some hits, though, please. Please, let's hit this thing. Alright, there we go. And he's back to repairs, so let's send Longhorn in there as well to continue the repairing. And another missile's coming our way, but we have a chance to actually hit them now, so let's fire the charge lasers. One hit, that's all I needed. We'll fire right through here, hopefully knocking out most of their dangerous systems. Rocket launcher's offline, which is key, so that's good news. The uh, mind control isn't as damaged as I would have liked, but it is damage, which is pretty good. Their weapons are damaged. We're going to go some more damage to the mind control. Hopefully this breaks it for good this time. There we go. Now they're sitting ducks, and we should be able to clear them out pretty nicely. There we go. There we go. We also got to back up to max engine power after all those deaths earlier, so that's nice. And this will kill them. Perfect. Goodbye, Auto Surveyor. Nice try. So, from destroying him, we get 51 scrap, which is nice. When we investigate the station, we find a storage site for various resources. We get 4 fuel, a drone part, and 23 scrap. I'll take it. That'll definitely help out our case here. Ooh. Two ion storms. Well, let's go to this one, because it doesn't have a ship in it, so we can probably get some kind of reward here. Let's see what happens. With all of our various things. We jump into the middle of a plasma storm, where multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Well, I guess we do the dangerous thing and manually search the wreckage for survivors and equipment, because we do have a clone base. We should be able to revive him if he dies. Within the ship graveyard, we find one ship that seems relatively untouched. On board, we find an unconscious passenger and take them back to the ship. Once awake, they offer to join our crew in thanks, giving us two fuel, one missile launcher, 20, one missile launcher, one missile, 24 scrap, and Jax, the rock man with piloting and weapon skill. Okay, cool. Welcome aboard, Jax. You can come chill out over here. We'll rename you as well. I think your name is going to be... You can be deputy. We already have sheriff. You need, we need a deputy, too. There we go. So that'll do. And let's jump out of here. We have a store over there, which is interesting. Let's jump over here first, see if we can make some money on the way to the store, and then we'll see what else we can do. If we can find some weapons there, that'd be great. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches us. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free unharmed. No, I don't think so. We're not going to surrender our crew to the slavers. And they have a burst laser, stunner, and well, it looks like a, probably a breach missile. They're going to board us, though, and we'll see where they go. They've gone to our O2, which is a bit annoying. Let's run our Lanius over there, though. They should be good at fighting these guys. There we go. And for some reason, all my systems are still offline, because I didn't fix it after the nebula. Perfect, so we're not actually charging anything up yet. Cool. All right, well, now we've started charging up our weapons, so we'll be able to attack them. Please miss me with that stunner. Thank you. That means we're safe from that burst laser as well. Once we eventually start hitting them with our weapons, we'll be able to start killing them. For now, though, our Lanius are probably going to sacrifice themselves. Nope, they did a good job there of killing those boarders. Get them back to their own systems, and time to cloak out the big missile. Whee! Thank goodness for 105% evasion. So, send up another charge ion. If it hits them, good. If it doesn't hit... Okay, one more, and we'll be able to get through there safely, and we'll be able to kill them quite nicely, in fact. There we go. They've boarded us again, which is an interesting strategy, so we're going to send our rock man in there to go punch the heck out of them. And we're going to fire the charge laser in on the weapons. 
And we missed, which is unfortunate, but we can fire through here. There we go, just disable them a bit more. Eventually these guys will go down. Let's go send Varmint in there to help. Here come some more lasers, that shouldn't be a problem. Our rocket fire is almost about to income. There we go, charge lasers are ready. And we can't quite knock them out in time to stop the rocket, I don't think. Nope, we can just dodge the rocket anyway. And dodging rocket time, thank you. That 100% evasion is hard to complain about. And they surrender, offering us another rock man as tribute, but unfortunately for them, surrender is not an option. So, we're going to mini-beam them, and... Uh, here we go. Fire the charge laser again, I suppose. Knock out that helm as best we can, to prevent them from evading or running away from some fluke of fate. And... There they go, they died just before they get their shields back online. Pirate Assault goes down. Slave ship is destroyed, so they'll continue their evil trade. Many lives were probably lost on board that ship, giving us two fuel, one drone part, and 59 scrap. I'll take it. Alright, let's find out what's over here, then we'll go check out that store. Hopefully there's something good there. Debris from a forgotten battle still orbits the gas giant in this system. Some of it might still be usable, giving us two missiles, a drone part, and 43 scrap. Okay, that's pretty good. There's a store right here, though. Let's see what they want. Please have good weapons for us. Please. Space Station user traveling merchant shows us his wares. And... Uh, weapons? Ooh, 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 weapons. They actually have weapons. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, they actually have weapons. All right, well... Ion Blast Mark II is good. Burst Laser Mark III is, is acceptable. That'll take all of our power, though. And I don't have enough power to actually upgrade our weapons to be able to use those. Let's check and see if there's anything else nearby. There's another store over here. Oh, that's even better. I think I saw that one over here, actually. I knew there was a store there. Yeah. Because I was thinking, I want to check that other store and see if they have a different weapon set up that would be better for us, that we can come back here and jump onwards. Can we get anywhere other than the beacons we've already been to, though? Not really. Ooh. Do I buy these things? They're, like, it's a four-power weapon. I can't even really afford to upgrade my systems that much by the time we get there, but I need, I need this. Just so we have more firepower, because right now we have nothing. The charge laser is not bad, but it's not good enough. The burst laser mark three. I guess we need to buy that. The ion blast mark two would be good. I'm buying the big laser though for now because we need the more shots at the moment. And I, can I actually upgrade the system enough to use it? I don't know. I'm gonna hold on to this for now. We're gonna go to the next sector and we'll see what happens. Go to the next store beacon. I probably should have bought the Ion Blast Mark II, but the Charge Ion does about the same work, a little bit slower. A transmission from the nearby planet indicates an outpost below, which offers supplies to travelers. What do you have? You have no weapons. Okay. Okay. You have a defense drone, though. I might want to buy that. That'll be a good, a good investment, I think, keeping us alive. And I probably can't afford to spend any of my other money on any other systems. Getting other hacking would be nice in case the flagship hacks something important, but I don't think I can actually afford to do it. So we're just going to buy a little bit of fuel here, and we're going to go straight to buying weapon upgrades with the remaining two power bars, which should let us swap in our burst lasers instead of the charge laser. Don't have enough power to run it yet, mind you, but I can borrow some power for that. And we'll jump onwards and hopefully be able to get something else out of this sector before we get to the end. What do we get here? Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover a useful material while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Let's explore the asteroid field and see what we get. Oh, we got three fuel. Alright, nothing great, but we'll take it, I guess. Something better than nothing. What do we find here? We recognize this ship as another well-known slave trader. He hails us, offering us laborers for cheap. I'd love to get that Zoltan. We're just going to attack that slaver scum, because otherwise we can't do anything about him. So, we've got the charge ion in there. We actually have a big laser now, so we have a chance to do some real damage for a change, which is nice. Turn off the O2 to boost up our evasion for now, because we really can't afford to have everything else on. Let's see if we can knock down those shields a little. We're probably going to dodge the rocket, because that's the most dangerous thing they've got on there, I suspect. Dodge. There we go. Burst laser is ready. And let's fire at weapons, I guess. Disable them as hard as we can. Only two shots got through, which is awful. Thankfully, their small bomb missed, but that was not our best salvo. All right, now they do have another rocket coming in. Hopefully, it doesn't hit anything important. Please don't hit the weapons. Okay, it misses us. Good. Our O2 is still offline, though, which means I'm probably going to need to turn it on back again soon. Otherwise, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Their bomb is still online. All right, let's get you guys to different rooms, because it doesn't really benefit us to stack people in the same place. Our cloak is ready to dodge this rocket. Thank you very much. All right, 100% evasion is good enough for me right now. We're down to only 46% oxygen, though, which is not good. And let's try and smack him again. We need to try and actually deal some damage, knock that rocket launcher offline if we can. There we go. They're trying to offer us another slave, Pomeroy, who's an NG. We don't need another NG, thank you very much. We're going to keep fighting you. Rocket's offline, but now it's back online. Unfortunately, their crew, I think, just died, which is good news for us. Turn on the O2 again. 
so we don't suffocate to death. And we'll burst laser them again. They're going to get another rocket off at us before we can do anything about it, I think, because of the way, the rate at which they've repaired. Yep. And they hit us in the weapons, of course, but at least we got them down to one hull first, so we should be able to switch over to the mini-beam with our remaining power and kill them with that before they get a chance to heal. Mini-beam, go. And they have no weapons online at the moment, so they can't hit us with anything else either. Of course, that rocket hurt, but I should have used my defense drone. Why wasn't I using my defense drone? Ugh. And they have the shield's back online, too, you jerks. Alright, well, that was silly of me. I should have used my defense drone there for sure. Small bomb comes in, tries to knock out our shields, and succeeds, of course. We can go back in there after dodging the explosion. Go fix that now, too. Alright, well, that's just an annoying mess. We shouldn't have had any problems there, because I should have just defense drone to block that rocket, but whatever. Let's get you back down here. Another missile, another small bomb coming in, rather. We're going to dodge this one for sure. Don't feel like they're getting hit by anything else today. Should have put more power in there, I think. Power up the evasion, since we're only using a mini-beam at the moment. And please don't miss them enough that they can regenerate charge. I just need to hit them with a mini-beam once, and they're dead. I probably should have switched to the burst laser, but whatever. There we go, and now they're dead. Goodbye, Pirate Scout. That was a silly decision-making on my part. Slave ship is destroyed, so we get ourselves one missile, one drone part, and 63 scrap, which is a very nice reward. Oh, there's a store there, too. Let's jump here first, though. Is there anything good here? We receive a message from nearby station. A Federation cruiser jumping into rebel territory? Quite the bold move. We quickly move to arm weapons, but he continues. Lucky for you, we're not all in support of the rebellion. Perhaps these supplies will help you get a friendlier space alive. Giving us three fuel, one drone part, another 45 scrap. I'll take it. Brings us up to 108 again. Distress beacon over there too looks nice. Let's go to the store though here, see if we can maybe find something else that'll help us in our quest. The odds of us being able to run it before we get to the end are pretty low, but maybe we'll find something else good. A ship engineer set up a small shop here, and he's offering a pike beam and a heavy laser. Hmm. Nothing we need, unfortunately. Maybe I'll buy hacking? I kind of want to buy hacking, but... I don't think I can afford to. We'll sell the charge laser, or should we sell the charge laser instead of the mini beam? That's better. Yeah, two more lasers is better than at the moment than the mini beam is. I think mini beam is nice to have, but I have a feeling now that I want that charge laser ability because that's two more projectiles bringing us up to seven, which is pretty nice with the charge ion as well. That's pretty good. So we'll sell the mini beam here. I forgot this thing only takes one power, so we can actually use these pretty easily together. The ion bomb I might still hold on to. The alternative, though, is picking up the hacking or just upgrading the weapon system and getting more power and stuff. Hacking is good, though. We're going to get a hacking system. We're only going to get one power bar of it just to counter the hacks on the flagship final stage. Because if it hacks us in the helm, it could be game over right there. So let's jump over this way. Hopefully we have enough time to go to the stress beacon and the exit. I don't know if we will, but we'll check it out. Our jump leads us to nothing but empty space. That's bad luck. And we do have enough time to go to both, so that's okay. What's over here? Hopefully something good. It appears there's just beings coming from the surface of a nearby moon, where our sensors are picking up a single life form. Let's go down to the surface to investigate, then. We find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked. Exploring the devastation, we find a lone survivor. Let's take him home to his family on a nearby planet in the system and see if we can get some nice reward out of him. Overjoyed with the return of their son, the family of the survivor arranges to repair a ship's hull's compensation, giving us ten repair. Well, that's nice, but I mean, we're about to get a full repair from going to the the, uh, the rebel base, so or Federation base, so that's not a great reward, but I guess we'll take it. Powering up the power, so his systems, so we can actually get our burst laser online. Thank you very much. And let's jump to the exit and see what we can get on our way out of here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've arrived at a long-range beacon on the FDL driver's charge. We can jump to the next sector. We find a small platform orbiting this beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some sort and is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices in a spectrum of frequencies and languages. Let's dock and see what happens. The refueling station welcomes us into one of its berths, and as we hail them, there's an explosion from our engine room. While assessing the damage, we detect a pirate ship closing in fast. And that's annoying. We did three damage to our engines. Holy cow. Let's get in there and fix that before we take a bazillion damage. And they're boarding us, too. Okay. Well, they want to board us in our uh, cloning bay? That's fine. I'll send some Lanius to kill you in the cloning bay. I don't even think they'll need to have any other uh, benefits there. They'll be fine, I think. We're going to power off the O2 to give them that extra chance of survival, though. Here comes a big laser. We can cloak that out pretty easily, though. And they've teleported home. I guess they didn't want to die. Which is surprising, because they have a clone base. So that's really the best strategy for them. But we're going to cloak out now to make sure they can't hit us. I could use hacking here, but I don't think we really need it. We're going to go for a nice burst laser mark II shot at their weapons. Hopefully knock off most of their firepower. There we go, that's pretty good. We killed one of their crew as well, so that's going to take him a little time to respawn. I believe that is one of the first crew that they we murdered, who just respawned there. They only have two shield bars, which is surprising for guys like this. And this time we're going to hit them in the clone bay, so that their constant marauding attacks 
are going to wind up being the death of them. We got more lasers coming in, that's fine. We're just gonna suffocate this guy, I think. They only have two crew left, and their med bay is broken. Their clone bay, rather, so crew will die. Deaths are permanent at the moment. Burst laser mark three. We're gonna fire at them again. This time we're gonna take out their shields, which should prioritize because they're prioritized ahead of the med bay. Ship is trying to run away now, but unfortunately has no crew left. They're trying to offer us six fuel, five missiles, and 24 scrap. We don't care about either of those things, so we're not going to deal with it. They are trying to run away, but that's going to be difficult for them, because like I said, they've got nothing they can actually do at the moment. We have no air in our ship, though, so I should really turn the O2 back on. Let's close those doors. Thank you. And get our crew into somewhere that actually has oxygen in it, if there is anywhere. There we go. That'll do. Don't want to take that much damage for no reason. Now, this should kill them if they don't go back to the helm in time. There we go, that's what we're talking about. And we'll send you back to your station, send you back to your station. I think I haven't actually saved their positions in quite some time, so we'll do that in a second too. Ship explodes, even behind three fuel, one drone part and 56 scrap. All right, so we're gonna buy ourselves two more power bars with that immediately, because we need more power really bad. And uh, I think that's us good to keep moving. Keep goovin'? Keep going. We've made it to the last stand, surprisingly enough, in the Stealth Cruiser Type C. So let's go check it out. Last stand, here we come. Oh boy. We arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Our access codes get us to pass past initial security, and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We explain our mission, and he said, and Our explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief amongst the officers, rather. General Terzel of the Engine Brigade speaks up, saying, Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. When we explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship, Tully responds, saying, It's settled, then. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. Your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel, and the other repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. Give us seven hull repair and ten more fuel. Fantastic, we made it here. There's the flagship, too. We have some time to burn before we have to go fight them. Hopefully we can make enough money to make this ship worth fighting with. But oh boy, this is going to be a mess of a battle, isn't it? Either way... I'm going to go refill my water so I don't <laughs> die while we're recording the final section of this run, but I am pretty excited for trying to take on the flagship with this mess of a ship. <laughs> Let's see how far we can get. If we can even win with this thing, it'll be amazing. So I'll be back in a second, let our oxygen regenerate as well, and then we will continue onwards. All right, we're refueled and ready to go. Let's get a move on here and see what happens. we will jump over to this battle and see what we're up against. A battle rages nearby between small fighters, apparently fighting over a space station. The Federation appears to be losing ships fast, and we decide to assist them. Let's get ready to fight that rebel ship. We move into intercept, and what do they have? They have a missile and three laser shots and a hacking system. Hacking hits. Hacking. Okay, that's fine. We're going to actually wind up using our power bars here for a defense drone, I think, because that'll block that missile weapon quite nicely. And then we should be pretty safe to just very slowly, very, very slowly pick these guys down. Oh, they have a defense drone mark two, though. That's going to make it a bit harder. Gonna have to charge up the ions fully and see if we can actually get any shots through here. So we're gonna go straight for the weapons. None of them hit them. Really? Not a single one of those shots actually hit them with the ion. None of them got blocked by the drone, they just all missed. Awesome. Alright, defense drone, keep de protecting us. We really need that defense here. Thankfully, our shields are pretty much fully effective against these weapons. So we're, we should be more or less safe. One of these ions hit. Thank you. Alright, get some lasers in there. And none of them hit. Cool. We need some more firepower really badly. Unfortunately, we can't really get any. So we're going to keep trying here and see what happens. Eventually, maybe one of these shots will get through there. If we can break the shields down by one bar, it'll make it a lot easier for us to actually hit them in the future. So that's all I'm trying to do. Get down one bar. Plus, they're going to run out of rockets eventually, so that's going to make things even easier. There's one point. And one got in! Alright, that's better than nothing. They have one human crew repairing, which just means it's gonna... Oh, come on now, drone. You let them get through there for no good reason. Let's get our NG varmint up there and repair that damage. Silly defense drones. I should stop that auto-firing. They're gonna be repaired already, yep. And they take another hit! We have a defense drone, it's just not bothering to shoot these missiles down anymore. I'm not okay with that. Alright, let's get you back over there, friend. And we're gonna power up our evasion, because apparently we really need it. Or dodge this one just for the heck of it, because apparently our drone can't aim anymore. I hate defense drones for exactly that reason. Their aim is atrocious. We could try and hack him, but this guy's going to knock it down anyway. It's going to be a waste of drone parts, which is basically a waste of, or waste of free healing, so that seems kind of silly to me. Let's take some more shots at him, though. 
One of those hits, two of them hit. Okay, it's better than nothing, but not good enough to actually do damage. This is a really irritating fight. I could switch to the charge laser instead, which might be better. So let's try that and see if that gives us anything more. With seven lasers to fire, we have a better chance of getting actually hits in. Because it gives us two more shots, really, to hit them with. It's still not great, though. The rockets are now disabled. There we go, there's two points of damage. That brought them down a bar. That's better than nothing. They're going to repair it by the time the burst laser is ready to go again, though. Or most likely they are, anyway. Let's get ready for another salvo, see if we can break through. Yeah, they got them back up just in time. And we didn't do a darn thing there. They shot our drone, but that doesn't matter, because they're out of rockets anyway. So we lost a drone part, but nothing else bad happened there. So, let's just uh, see if we can actually kill them. It's going to be a very long process, and a very dull one. But if we can get some good rewards, we'll be able to buy the power bars we need to actually run all these systems at the same time, which is pretty crucial right now. Although I don't know why I auto-fired that, because that was really silly of me. Alright. Let's not do that again. And Sheriff's getting some shield skill training, which is not bad. <laughs> but this is a long fight. They are hacking our hacking. I could try and hack their shields, but our hacking is really weak. The other thing I could do is hack their evasion with their drone control. That would potentially block this guy, so we have an easier chance of getting in there. For now, though, we're just going to spam the shields again. Very slowly, we'll kill them. Very slowly. Alright, if we put power in here instead, what would be the best choice to hack? We only get one shot at it, and it's going to be very difficult to hack them because I have that drone online. Let's see what happens if we aim at the hack at the drone system instead. Does it knock out the defense drone first? It doesn't knock out anything first, we just miss a lot. Alright, let's charge up again, try again. We have seven shots to get through four shields. One of these days, we'll do some damage to these guys. Go lasers, go! There we go, we knocked out the drone. Okay, so now we have an opportunity here. Now we can get a hack in. Now we might be able to do some real damage. If we can hack the drone control while they're temporarily disabled... There we go. Oh, the anti-combat drone missed him too. That was, that was potentially bad as well. Alright, they have a repair drone in there, so what we're going to do is... We're going to let them repair, and then we're going to hack it. So we can get our next shot in when they don't actually have an opportunity to block us very easily. Of course, they just blocked our hacking, but we'll be able to get through there in a second. Alright, now we hack them. And we go, fire the lasers. There we go, three shots in, we actually killed the crew and broke their drones, which is great. Now the problem is, since they have a hack on our hack, they will be able to potentially break our hacking drone, uh, if they get a lucky uh, hack on it, so that's not great. But now that they don't have their defenses up as well, we should be able to hit them in the shields and take those down a bit easier. Plus the repair drone is broken, so he can't help repair as quickly. We're probably going to lose our hacking drone here. No, we didn't. That's surprising. All right. Well, let's see what happens then. We have another shot ready. They don't have the repair drone to help speed up their repairs. Fire some more shots in there. That's better. Now they're in trouble. Now they're in trouble. That's what we like to see. All right. I don't want to hack right now because they're going to counter hack anyway. I don't have the defense drone up to make it worth hacking. So we almost have a shot ready to get through. Oh, there's the hack. And we fire lasers. Here we go. Oh, come on! So many misses. They're so close to death. Alright, we're going to activate our hack. Stop them from repairing any quicker. Blow up their anti-drone. That's that's kind of mean. Alright, they're going to have their drone control back online in a second, which means they're going to have the big drone. Ooh, but they only have three shield bars. We have a chance here. Come on, we need two lasers to hit. There we go. Rebel Disruptor goes down. That was a pain in the butt. So, with Rebel Ship destroyed, we're free to contact their would-be victim, getting two missiles, a drone part, and 61 scrap. When we contact the survivors, the people we rescued were primarily refugees fleeing the conflict. They offer us their sincere gratitude. Well, that's something, I guess. We don't have the 90 scrap. We need to upgrade weapons control again, which is kind of bad news. But at least we are not completely stuck here. So, let's buy ourselves another power bar, because we need power to actually run our systems. Otherwise, we're going to have a hard time continuing onwards. And let's jump again. So, let's jump over here and see what this conflict's all about. What is going on here? As soon as we arrive at the beacon, Rebel Scout turns to engage with the power-up weapons. Alright, they've got a rocket launcher and a bomb. We're going to turn on the defense drone then, first things first. They... Okay, defense drone, go. What do we want to do here? What do we want to hack? We're probably going to use another hacking drone here because if we can get past this anti-combat drone, we should be able to get through and actually prevent them from doing too much to us. But what do we want to hack? Not weapons, I don't think. Not even shields. We might hack their helm. That's a good idea, I think. We'll hack the helm. If we can get through here, I'll be very happy. Nope, got blocked. 
Oh, defense drone shot down one of their boarding drones, though, so that's good. Please get over there, hack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we needed. Okay, so now we can hopefully do some good damage to them, because now they won't be able to dodge us all the time. We're going to cloak here just for safety's sake. No, we're not. We're good. Bomb coming in. We're going to dodge that one, though. Hits us in the drone control. That's why I dodged. Let's go repair that sucker before our cloak wears off, hopefully. And then we should be able to defend ourselves against anything else they want to throw our way. We could attack them now, but I'm going to wait again because our charge ion should be able to knock down all that anyway. Oh, they fired a drone at us. That was what I was worried about. All right, fire the charge ion. I should have activated the hack first. What are those... What? Did, what? Where did those ion shots go? What just happened? All right, activate the hack. Where did our ion shots go, really? What just happened? That was weird. Alright, well, we're going to hit by a rocket. No, we get a lucky dodge there. That's good. And we're going to hold on to our burst laser, I guess. What happened to all of our shots there, though? They kind of, like, hit our drone behind us. Turn the defense drone back online, please. There we go. We need to turn our O2 back on, which is unfortunate because it just blew up. We're down only 53% oxygen. We kind of need some. All right, they've sent another rocket our way. Hopefully our drone can shoot this one down. Good. It missed us anyway, so it doesn't make a huge difference. Whatever. Burst laser them in the shields this time, I think. Nope. No such luck there. That's fine. Charge ion might not be our best option here. I might want to switch over to a primarily laser-based strategy, because the charge ion is not getting what we need to get done. Just having more lasers might make a difference. You just shot our defense drone with a rocket. You jerks. All right. Well, that's how this game goes, apparently. And they sent the boarding drone at us, and he gets in now because they just shot our drone. Really? All right. Shoot them in the drone control. Now we missed every shot. Sweet. Turn off the charge ion. Don't need that anymore. They're going to be able to get this thing online, but honestly, this is just silliness. I should have been hacking them. I keep forgetting I had the hack on there, which was the entire point of the strategy, but it's easy to forget these things. So we're going to send our Zoltan out of the shields, which is awful, because we need to have him in there so we don't lose our shield system, because if we lose the shields and we're in trouble, you know, I'm just going to suicide you against him. He needs to respawn now, anyway. We need to turn the med bay on, turn up the evasion. There we go. They have a chance here for us to do some damage. I can cloak here as well to dodge that missile. Perfect. They must be running out of missiles now. I think they're out of missiles. Good. We are going to activate the hack. I can only do one point of damage. This is very silly. But whatever. We're going to activate the hack and fire some lasers at them. They cannot dodge us. So what do we want to knock out most? I think drone control most. There we go. One point of drone control damage. It only knocks off the anti-combat drone, which doesn't really make any difference. They can potentially hurt us if we let them uh, destroy our shields, though. So I'm going to have to get in there and stop that with my... Uh, my poor crew. Sheriff died too, which is unfortunate because he was the one I was using to get some good uh, shield skill up on just now. Let's get him back over here. Alright. They are going to hopefully take some damage this time. I'm going to fire some more shots at them. We'll try to take out the shields though. I think it's still the best strategy. If we can't knock down their shields, it's going to be hard for us to do anything else in the future. Rockman's about to die, but Deputy, he'll be okay. They shot the sheriff, and they shot the deputy. We're going to keep our shields alive, just to make sure the risk to ourselves is minimized as much as possible. They are trying to heal their crew, which is also interesting. We can go for a hack next time and do as much damage as possible. We'll drop some charge lasers over there to knock off that overcharge effect. There we go. How much health does that thing have? It has a good amount of health left still. There goes Varmint, unfortunately. Varmint doesn't have much skill, though, so it's not the end of the world. They did knock down our shields, but they only have two bars, so it's okay for it to go down a little bit further. Really, though? We're just in a nasty spot still. They're recharging that again, which is annoying. They're going to keep recharging that thing constantly, though. We need to activate the hack and try and do some damage. We need to try and hit them in a way that will prevent them from constantly doing this, because we just don't have the firepower to be able to fight them like this, which is really annoying. So, oop, that doesn't sound good. My floor just cracked really loudly. All right, that didn't sound good, but whatever. We're going to keep going. So we can go for a hack here. We can do at least two damage to them with the amount of shields they have currently active. For us, I think the best choice of a target doesn't like there isn't really a best choice. We're just gonna go for weapons here. We're activate the hack. Go for weapons. Or shields. We're talking about weapons. Alright, they're still trying to break our shields down, which is not okay. So let's send our rock man back in there. Deputy. It's your job to protect us from any and all random incursions. There we go. And we're going to send Varmint up to protect as well. More lasers coming in. The problem is if they take us down one more bar, then we actually are vulnerable to their attacks. Whereas right now, we're basically immune to whatever they could possibly throw at us. Let's throw some more damage at them. Eventually, one of these days, it'll go down. 
Didn't actually fire the charge laser for some reason. Not sure what happened there. Alright, we killed the drone, which means he's going to be respawning in a second, which is bad news for us. We need to get out of there so we don't suffocate. We'll send... Actually, you know what? It doesn't even matter if you suffocate. Go in there and just suffocate to death. You will respawn. You'll be okay. So he's dead, unfortunately. We're going to charge laser them and knock out that overshield effect. There we go. We're going to quickly open up internal doors now that the breach is gone. Although not all the open doors. We need to keep that one closed, otherwise we don't... Managed to recover. There we go. There's probably another drone coming at us. We're going to activate another defense to defend ourselves. There he is. Nice shot there, drone. Wow. That was a quick off-the-mark action. And uh, shields are fixed. Good. All right. Rockman, you're back. You're back. You are getting back in the shields. Okay. Let's see if we can actually hurt them now. Ping off those bars of overshield. It's a slow process. But we're going to try to do as much damage as we can. This is the best way to do it. Let ourselves recharge again, power up the shields to full. This is a mess, I have to say. Absolute mess. Alright, you know what? Doesn't even matter. We're just going to activate the hack here. Activate the hack, try and hit them, do some damage. If they try and run away, there's nothing we can do about this. <laughs> We're going to just slowly try and ping away at them. See if we can maybe one day kill them. We literally have no other options here though, which is the disappointing part. We just have to pick away their health. I do apologize, folks, but this is what we're forced into here. And we killed the drone. That might actually mean he stays dead. I think they're out of drone parts. So that would be nice. That means we only need to get through four bars of shields every time instead of five, which means we can actually do some damage. Still not much damage, but we can actually get in a little bit easier now, so that's good news. Alright, I think I probably wasted that drone. He blocked one more defense, uh, one more boarding drone, but I don't think I really needed it. Whatever. We have 15 drone parts left. We're going to need some for repairs, but we're going to need that many. Let's get some more shots in here, see if we can actually do some damage to them eventually. We can hack them next time. Probably should have hacked them that time, but it doesn't really matter. Eventually we'll get through. I do apologize for the slowness, but this ship is pretty garbage. If we get the charge ions at the same time, we might be a bit better off, but even then, we're still kind of weak. And this time we activate the hack. <clears throat> there we go. That knocks them down to two bars of shields, which should be enough for us to get the burst laser up with only a three, which means we should be able to kill them now. Although they're repairing really quickly. They must have a repair drone in there. Alright, and fire lasers. Yep, they definitely have a repair drone in there. But we managed to do another two points of damage, which is better than nothing. And then when these shields, or the hacking is recharged, we can kill them because we only have... We have seven shots, they only have three hull and four bars of shield, so this will kill them. What a mess this has been. Alright, let's attack these guys, activate the hack. You, sir, are dead, finally. Rebel Rigger goes down. Oh my goodness. Ship explodes, giving us two missiles, one drone part, and 49 scrap. What a mess that was. There's a repair beacon over here. We're going to head over towards this base, I think. And see if we can't make a little bit of money before we get there. They're going to take one, two, three, four to get to the base, so we can afford to take a couple jumps. Oh, what a mess. All right, what do we find here? Federation ships are scarce in this region of space, despite a number of civilian space stations. We see a small bomber squadron engage with some Federation scouts and quickly move in to assist. All right, they're going to be boarding us. They also have four shields, a big rocket launcher, but we'll see what happens here. They're going to be fighting us. We're going to try and do our best to fight them back then, I guess. And again, our defense is ready. They do not have any fancy defenses, though, which is nice. We just laser them to heck. And I could hack them. Let's hack them in the helm. Go, hacking drone. Boop. There we go. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to vent this room. Should have been doing this earlier. Alright. And now we're going to send our crew out of there. And they want to come in this room? That's perfect. Alright, they're firing some lasers at us. We're not too worried. The bomb is a problem. I could activate a defense drone again, which would protect us from the rockets as well, which would be a good idea. But I'm just going to dodge right now. Although I might wait a little bit longer. No, we're just going to dodge. Just play it safe. Hmm, no. We'll take the bomb. Bomb hits us in the engines. Probably shouldn't have taken the bomb. Get out of there. No, no. Okay, too late. And you're going to go help with that. We're going to dodge the rocket, I think, for sure. That's the most dangerous thing they've got by far. And we activate the hack, and we're actually just going to smash him in the weapons here. See if we can knock that rocket launcher offline before it gets a chance to fire. Nope, we knocked out some of the other weapons, though, so that's pretty good. And the air should still be venting from that room, so we can leave there, and they'll start suffocating. We're going to cloak to make sure that they don't hit us. Very nice. And we should be able to knock out the rest of their weapons with another salvo in a second here. Our crew is a bit injured, as always, but there's not much we can do about that. Close those doors would be nice, too. Oh, man, look at that dodge. That was awful. All right, well, not much we can do about that either. Let's get our crew over here, NG over there. 
Try for another salvo. We should have a hack ready this time, so that's good. We can deal more damage this time for sure. And they've boarded us again, which is annoying, because they're already fully healed again, but whatever. We activate the hack, and we fire at the weapons, please. Small bomb, don't hit anything, please. Hits our hacking, which is annoying, because that brings their evasion right back online. Alright, let's go deal with these guys. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, send our rock man over to go protect our helm, because Bronco's taken hits. Which I do not want to have happen right before the flagship fight, where dodging is super important. Now we're going to cloak. Perfect. And now we're just going to leave the helm, honestly. Leave the helm, open up the venting doors, start suffocating them. We're going to have to kill our crew, I think, in order to uh, not take too much damage here. We also need our hacking back online, so let's go start fixing that. Alright, they broke the helm, which is really unfortunate timing, because so now we're going to get hit by this bomb. It's going to hit us in the engines again, which is going to hurt our pilot, which is annoying. Alright, close the doors. We need our NG back over in the other part of the ship now. We're going to open all the internal doors except for the Lanius room again, to spread some air back in there quickly. Send our NG over to the helm, not after we send Bronco back in there, though, so we make sure people are in the right places. Send you back over here. Alright. Can we get this back on track again? Hack the helm. Fire weapons. There we go. Having bad luck here, but so far we're not... Oh, come on! You killed our NG. Awesome. You almost killed Bronco as well, because you got another perfectly placed bomb. Alright, well we're going to have to activate a defense drone this time, otherwise we're going to take a missile to the face. So we're going to activate... Oh, I can't even turn this off now. We're going to activate the defense drone. And we're going to cloak, just to make sure, because it didn't miss us, it was going to hit us, even though we cloaked. And I do not want to take a missile to the face here. Alright, repair that helm. Let's try and deal some more damage this time. There we go. Doing some damage to people, we're taking out some of their weapons, they have their bomb and their rocket online, which is not great for us, but not much we can do about it. Please don't hit anything else. Okay, we didn't hit our helm again, that would have been annoying. Let's get our NG over this way. Unfortunately, he died again, but not much we can do about that. This is the one, I think this is the one game I've actually been making use of the, uh, the clone bay, the way it's kind of intended. You just let your crew die all the time. I don't like doing it, but we don't have many options anyway, so such it is. I'm going to have to go sacrifice Bronco, because otherwise he's going to be uh, useless in the final fight. So I'm going to murder him now. There we go. Sad to do that, but it needs to be done. I need to have him alive for the final stage. So let's get power back up again. Once he revives, we'll bring him back to the helm. We should be able to kill these guys right now, though. If we get a good shot off. Well, we won't be able to kill them. We can bring them down to one hull, which would be good enough. And it'll stop them from repairing that system in a hurry. There we go. Next salvo, we have the hack ready, so we will kill them this time. Alright, Bronco's back. Get back on helm. You're going to come back over this way save our crew positions. I don't know if I've saved those stations in a while. Activate the hack. Go for the kill. They cannot survive this salvo. Goodbye, Rebel Fighter. You guys are a mess. Alright. Ship explodes. Give us two missiles, a drone part, and 42 scrap. We are just having a heck of a time here. So, let's power up this. Power up this. Run both of those things at the same time. Oh boy. Well, Desperado does not have any real damage right now. I'm going to try and let him live. We're going to murder a deputy, though, again. Sorry, Deputy. I hate to suffocate you like this, but I need you at full health in case we inevitably get boarded again. Okay. We need to power up the charge ion and the charge lasers so we can actually take advantage of both of those attacks. Defense drone, you can go offline now. We can power up all that. Alright, so we're in a reasonable state of affairs right now. Here goes nothing. There's a repair beacon over there, base over there. We have plenty of time to get to the base because they'd have to spend three consecutive turns there to win. Let's see what happens here. Although this sector is still under Federation control, a small scout has skip slipped by the fleet. We move in to engage. Alright, I got missiles. I'm going to have to use my defense drones again. So many drone parts being used. Alright. Defense drone, go! I don't want to take any Artemises to the face, thank you. I know we can repair them easily with hull repair drones, but it'll be make this a lot harder if they knock out important systems at bad times. I am also going to hack them again, because that's pretty straightforward way of making sure we kill them today instead of never. There we go. Please don't shoot my drone, thank you. Alright, so once the burst laser is ready, we'll send out a massive salvo of firepower, and that should kill them pretty safely. We are going to cloak out soon, I think. There goes the ion bomb, now it's time to cloak. 
make sure that thing doesn't hit anything important. There we go. Charge ions. You're going for their shields. And we activate the hack now, and we're going to unleash hell upon these fools. I think we're going to try and knock down the shields first, because if we don't, it makes this a lot harder. There we go. Now it's down to one permanent shield bar, which is much better off. And they shot our drone! I told you that was going to happen! I knew it! I knew they were going to shoot it! Of course they would, because we needed to not die, so they're going to shoot it. Ugh. Whatever. At least they're down to only one bar of shields. So we should be able to kill them next salvo, and they're waiting long enough for us to cloak here when they reappear. Alright, cloaking time. Thanks for letting us alpha strike you. Alright. Seriously, though, that was really irritating. I knew it was going to happen, but there's nothing I could do about it. Let's knock out those shields with another ion salvo. There we go. Let's just smash them with lasers. Should have hacked in there. Forgot. But whatever. At least the missile and bomb timer got messed up. And we can do it again next time, so that's fine. Charge eye on them again, knock out the shields, there we go. Some more lasers aren't a big deal. They're cloaked again, which is annoying, but... Next time we can kill them for sure, because our hack is ready. We can just activate that and they will die. Ion bomb might come at us before we can do anything else, though. Thankfully our cloak is ready again. Ready to reappear and fire? Because you're not going to hit us. Alright. Now they're dead, because this time, all we have to do is activate the hack and... Unleash hell. They have six health left. That'll kill them. Perfect. Auto scout goes down. Ship explodes, giving us three fuel, one drone part, and 53 scrap. That'll do for now. Now, with that money, what are we going to do? We have 54 scrap. We have a little bit more time here before we go to the base because we have next turn they're going to be jumping. So we have one, two. We can easily get there in time. What do we need to do with our money? We have 54 scrap. I need more evasion. I need more defenses. I need more doors. I need more everything. More helm. I don't need more hacking. I don't really need more drones. I don't know. Let's do one more jump and then we'll see what we need to spend our... What money we have on. What is this all about then? We scan the area, finding signatures for only a small trade vessel. However, as it approaches, we see the silhouette of a rebel scout. We run the scanners again and discover the registration is fake and move into attack. Big rocket, fire drone, little guy, two ion weapons. Alright, so that's a nasty combo for us, but nothing too nasty. We're gonna knock out their helm and hopefully smash them to high heaven before they get a chance to do too much else to us. If we can charge everything up here, dodge the rockets and ion attacks and whatnot early on to make sure they can't get through, we should be okay. Although it looks like they're getting pretty good aim. I really don't want to get hit by this. We're just going to dodge out now. Make sure they can't hit us. Thank you. And we're going to activate the charge ion attack first. Hack in. And we're going to fire on their weapons immediately. Because that way, they can't smash us with those weapons. Because that ion blast, rocket, and drones combo could have been nasty. But this way, they can't do a darn thing. That's what I'd like to see. Charge ion. If it hits again, we'll keep locking them down. But if it misses one more time, I think they're safe. There we go. That's good. Keeps them locked down. And we're going to fire on the shields this time to keep them locked down for real. Yeah, well, we hit once, which is better than nuns. Better than nuns? Is that what I just said? <laughs> better than not at all. That's what I meant to say. All right. Charge ion. Keep locking them down, please. This is much better, though. Having that extra weapon on is much better. Let's smash the helms where evasion is much better. We're going to activate the hacks. So we can't miss this time. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about missing in the future either, which is very nice. Ionize those suckers, and then we should be able to kill them. Sheriff, what's your skill at? And Bronco, you're all maxed out again. That's good. Unleash death. That pilot is just pilot. That scout is destroyed. The auto assault is gone. Ship explodes, giving us one miss, one fuel, one missile, 44 scrap. This has been a very lengthy battle. We can go straight to the base, but I don't think we will. But we could go. I don't know if there's another repair beacon afterwards. Let's get the repairs. Get the drone parts and stuff that we're gonna want later. All right. Chatter on the comms suggests the nearby Federation base is outfitted with a repair station. When we forward our mission priority, they quickly help repair our ship and give us some supplies. Give us five fuel, four missiles, five drone parts, 44 scrap, and five hull repair. So with 142 scrap, what can we do? With 142 scrap, what do we do? We can power up the engines and run them. That's probably a pretty high priority task right there. We can also buff up our cloaking, which doesn't make a huge difference in this stage. Hacking is already ready to go. We're probably going to want to hack their hacking. If they don't hack anything important of ours, we're going to hack their cloaking. If we can get... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. What else do we need to do? We don't really have any other options here. Our options are definitely very limited. I think, I think the best thing for us to do, if it costs us 
A 3% evasion is, is pretty good. We won't be able to get high level shields. We're not going to make enough money in this run to be able to get that. The higher level cloaking isn't a big deal for us either. This just lets us dodge the rockets more often than not. I think what we want to do is buy more power so we can run our drones all the time and hope for the best, because really that's what we need to do. We'll buy max level doors to protect us later, because we're going to need this against the boarding drones and the massive boarding party we're inevitably going to get. Um, I don't know, there's so many things I kind of want to upgrade, but I don't have any money. Let's do this for now, and we'll hold on to the rest of our money for later. If I can get some more power, I'll buy one more power bar now. Alright, let's do this. We don't have enough time to keep messing around. Let's go fight the flagship and see what happens. We might get obliterated here because this ship is awful. But if we can win against this guy, I'll be super impressed. Let's fight the flagship. I fully expect stage 2 to be our death, but we'll see what we can do before then. This is it. Verbal flagship. If we can destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving, so there is no turning back. Where does the hack go? Hacks are shields, you monster. Alright, well that's gonna suck for us. That is really gonna suck. Stops our shields from regenerating, burns them all the way down to zero. It's a long hack, too, so we're going to have to dodge early. Okay, we need to immediately hack their hacking. Activate the hack. Let our shields regenerate before they start firing weapons at us and hitting us with beams and all kinds of nasty things. And, whew, that was a lucky miss. Rockets are away. We are going to dodge now. I would have loved to be able to hack their cloaking instead, but unfortunately, we need to hack the hacking. Otherwise, they will kill us. So, our weapons are ready. Or hack the helm would have been nice too. We're going to immediately start knocking down those shields if we can. Oh yes, that's what I like to see. And we're going to smash them in the rocket launcher. Thank you. That system's now disabled temporarily. They do have a lot of access to it, so it doesn't make much difference in the long run. But it does disable them for now. They have hacked us in the shields again, which means I need to hack them counter-hack quickly. Go. Alright. We might take a beam here before we can get recharged. Oh, we're going to take some shots for sure. Ooh, talk about lucky misses. All right, their hacking drone has broken, which means he's going to go somewhere else very shortly, which means he's going to be able to get a good hack before our, re our recharge time is done. Oh, look at that. That was amazing. They didn't even manage to recharge that. That's amazingly good. All right, we're going to go for their cloaking next to make sure they can't do too much else to us because that is where they have the potential to wreck our ability to fight back in the cloaking. So that'll get some crew heading over there, which is good. They're going to have to fight their way through the hacking room, which will let us potentially lock them out a lot easier. Are there rockets on their way? I don't know if there's rockets on their way yet. There's another hacking system on its way. Come on, don't hack anything important. Doors, okay, perfect. We're going to cloak now. As did they. I don't necessarily need to hack the door hack, because that's fine. I'm kind of happy with it being there. It's better there than elsewhere. Alright, so we're going to get ready for a shot here. They're all trying to get out of this section of the ship, which is funny. We're going to smack them in the shields, I think. Or weapons, maybe? All of these are decent options for us. Knocking up that rocket launcher again means we're a lot less likely to take massive damage. They are still trying to get in here to repair things, but not very fast. Alright, this is actually going surprisingly well. I was not expecting us to be this uh, successful here, although we did just take a nasty ionization. That's going to be a problem in a second. I'm trying to blast at that cloak system again. And they cloaked. We got one damage on it, which is better than nothing, but not as good as I would have liked. Our cloak is ready, so we can dodge if need be. What do they have coming in our way? There's some triple laser shots. We're going to actually dodge these just now, just to be careful. Do not want to take any unnecessary damage if we can help it. They're hacking our doors again, but that's fine. Again, I would have really liked to be able to get the hack somewhere else, but... Not available option at the moment. Let's just try and smash them in the... Rockets again. Trying to disable that rocket launcher as much as possible is a very good option for us, because otherwise it will keep hurting us. We can't really disable the crew, but... The better we do here, the better, I guess. <laughs> Which is a stupid thing to say, but you know what I mean. So, can we actually take this flagship down with this abysmal ship? I don't know. I don't think so, but we're going to do our best to keep trying. So, charge ion. Knock down one bar of shields, please. That's what I'm counting on here. Oh, come on. I need you to knock down one bar so we can get through here. Ooh, nasty ionization again. There we go, we got him. Okay, we're going to go for the cloaking again this time. Oh, so slow here, taking them down. Alright, we're going to dodge the rockets when they fire. We should have a good chance at them here because we did delay them pretty badly. Oop, they got damage in though through our shields. Our first damage here from the flagship fight, and they've cloaked and fired rockets, which is fine. We cloak and dodge the rockets. Now, they're probably going to have their crew stay in here, which is bad for us being able to block them, but they sh we should be able to kill at least two of them. So let's fire a salvo away, and this should get them. Yes, we got the flagship. Okay, I think we killed two crew there, which is pretty good. 
not great, but pretty good. Just as we finally gain the upper hand, they find a way to make an FTL jump. We've got to keep up our assault. We've got two missiles, one drone part, and 21 scrap out of this. Oh boy, this is a disaster waiting to happen. We're going to upgrade our helm here because that's all we can really afford, and that'll protect us from having them immediately smash it with a single laser and then obliterate us with a drone wave, which I fully expect to have happen. But yeah, this, this next wave is going to suck so bad. So, we're going to be hacking the helm if we can. Or the drone control would be pretty good too. Hacking drone control might actually be better. Um, helm is good, but drone control is a much better option. So we're going to chase them down. We can't go here anymore either because this is being taken over this turn. So we're just going to go face them off and see if we can actually beat them. It's going to be ridiculously difficult. Here we go. Here goes nothing. What do we find out? We chase down the flagship and discover it's heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate it has redirected considerable power to its drones. We have to get ready for battle. So we're going to immediately activate the defense drone. Because not dying to boarding drones and stuff would be great. Or the ion drone that's probably going to be sent with it as well. We're going to send our hacking over to their drone control. Please do not block it. They blocked it. We'll try again. If we can get lucky, they won't be able to block it every time. Because their aim is not normally that good. But apparently it's really good this time. Which is bad luck for us. We'll try one more time. Last shot. Can we get in there right as it's in the wrong position? Ha! We got in. Perfect. All right. That's exactly what I wanted. So, next time they fire off that drone, we're going to hack them and prevent them from hitting us with it. We're also going to fire off the charge ions at their shields now. Ooh. Ooh. Good shots there. That's good. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to blast them. Actually, drone control might be a pretty good target right now. We're going to hack the drone control right now then, and we're going to aim for the rockets instead. And they've fired the rockets. We cloak now, which is perfect timing. And there goes the wave. It's going to get mostly wasted. They're going to get a couple shots at us once the cloak ends, but not very many. That worked out perfectly. Holy cow. Okay, so we're going to burst laser them again. They almost got a drone in there, but not quite. We're going to fire the shields this time because they're super vulnerable right now. And there we go. We might actually win with this thing. Can we win with this thing? Really? We're running out of oxygen. We're down to 54%, but we're fine for now. We've ionized them down pretty hard. Our defense drone is doing amazing work for a change, which is something you never see. They have another power surge coming. We're going to hack him in a second to negate as much of that damage as we possibly can. Hacking goes off now. Oh, I actually made him miss, which is bad news, but whatever. Hacking. Fire the rockets. That's some damage. All right, we can cloak now, so we're going to do that. Dodge as much of this as possible. We actually broke the boarding drone as it was here. Hard to get better than this, I have to say. We're rocking this right now. Fire the charge laser over here. Do some damage to the drone control, so they want to go fix it. We're going to turn the O2 back on, because we need it. And uh, we're laughing right now, though, really. Lay down some damage over there, so they want to send some crew to go fix it. They're only sending one, which I'm not a big fan of. I want to try and kill as many crew as possible over in this wing of the ship. They're sending another power surge over. We're getting down low on O2, but we have some O2 charge going on anyway, so that should be okay. We're going to... I don't know if there's a point in hacking the drone control again right now. We're about to kill them, which is crazy. I was really thinking we'd die here. They have a ton of crew, which is going to suck in the next wave. But we've actually made it here pretty well. All right. I, the system's broken, so I can't actually hack them now. But I can dodge with a cloak right like that. And we're going to kill them now because they have literally no chance of survival. So, how are you gentlemen? Make your time. That is a dead Rebel Flagship Stage 2. We did it. Wow. Can we make it to the end in this thing? Really? Just as we finally gain the upper hand, they find a way to make an FTL jump. We've got to keep up the assault here. We have one missile, one drone part, 19 scrap, and so far we're actually doing it. I don't believe it. I really do not believe it. Not at all. So, we're going to power up the nothing. <laughs> power up the oxygen. It's all we can afford. Man, if we can win this thing in this thing. <laughs> I'll be so impressed. Alright, shields back online. Engines back online. Everything's going. Everything's good to go. Can we chase this sucker down and actually win the game in the Stealth Cruiser Type-C on hard mode in Advanced Edition? I sure hope so. Oh man. Next stage is gonna suck though. We have some serious damage incoming. We might be able to use our hull repair drone and negate some of the damage if we can like, get lucky and get some timing on it, but... It has the Zoltnover shield, so we can't hack them right away. We have to blast them down with the ion and charge lasers, hopefully. We can get to it before we need the burst, because that takes a much longer time to charge up. Then we can hack them, probably in the mind control, to protect ourselves from that, because that is going to be nasty. And what else do we want to do then? We want to just smash them, I guess, as fast as we can. There's not, many, there's not really many other options for us. Let's go chase them down. Let's see if we can do this. Can we beat them with this hunk of junk? 
We're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it sustained. Looks like it's transferred power to the teleporters as well as a super weapon. Here we go. All right, they have mind control. Or of course they mind control the pilot. All right, we're going to send a devourment up there to protect us a little. The first mind control always seems to hit the pilot. We're going to send both Longhorn and Vigilante up here to deal with this. That does reduce our door level, but it makes us pretty good at fighting them. I'm going to send Deputy down... Am I? No, he's, he's going to stay here. He's going to need that help. All right, we're going to start immediately blasting away, although I'm going to wait one more second until we get that second charge. And now we're going to immediately start blasting away at that Zoltan Overshield as quickly as we can. Our NG is dying. Varmint is getting killed, but that's actually okay at this point. The rockets are away, so I'm going to want to dodge that in a second. We're going to dodge... We only have a 60... We have a decent dodge. We have a decent dodge because we do have an NG still in the helm. He's going to die in a second, but he, he lasted long enough to do what I needed done. All right, they're dead. That's good. They're going to be boarding us as soon as our cloak is over, though, which is not good. We need to use our burst laser here to help break that shield faster so we can get the hack in to block the mind control. We almost have them blocked, which is good. They're over here, though, in an empty room, so we're going to send our Lanius over to go fight them. We're going to send our Rockman in here to support over here. They've still got our Captain mind control. They're, they're broken now, though, so we're going to hack their mind control. Before they break our helm, they've almost got him down one stage, which is... Whoa, no! Oh no, that was bad timing. That was a really bad shot. Alright, we're gonna block... Hack this. Alright, get you back in there. You need to repair that right this second. Our NG is almost respawned, which is good. They're gonna start doing some repairs for us, which is also good. Oh no! Of course they would! Oh! Of course, one shot just happens to knock out our clone bay right now, and we need all of our crew as badly as we possibly can get them. And we still have our charge laser locked offline too. This is bad. This is bad news. We need to put power into Defense Drone right now to block some of these rockets because we have no other options right now. This is seriously not good. We're going to lose our NG. He's dead. Ugh. And we take a hit to the engines. No, the hacking. That's even worse. I need the hacking right now. I have no crew I can afford to go send to go do repairs. They're going to be boarding us again in a second with more crew. All right, they've boarded us in our broken med bay, so I can go in here and try and fight them in there. Oh, no, they've left because we have no door power, right? They're going to attack our doors, or rather our... Uh our weapons. We need to defend ourselves as hard as we can here. This is not good. Our O2 is broken as well. We have no crew we can afford to move because our helm is still broken. So we're taking tons of weapon damage we don't need to be taking because we cannot dodge. Alright, we need to hit them hard, but we can't hit them hard because they have full defenses up right now. Charge Ion, please do something. Our crew is in serious trouble. We need to get them out of there. Otherwise, they're all going to die. We've killed a bunch of them, which is good, but we need to get out of here quickly. So, we're going to get our Lanius out of there. We're going to get our other crew out of there as well. Before they suffocate, we're going to dodge this salvo of rockets. Here we go. Good dodges. Our Zoltan died. Sheriff is gone. That's awful. All right, get them out here. Trying to kill them while we can. We need to try and do as much damage as we can do to them. This is a vicious battle. Okay, we need to get damage on. Damage on fast. The only way to do this for us right now is to hit them in... Oh, you're going to die in a second too. Oh no. We're losing Desperado just because I didn't move him out of the room. All right, it doesn't matter, though. He's, he's going to be dead. There's nothing I can do. He only has, like, one health left. I can't get him out fast enough. Try and get in this room. I think it might have some air in it. No, it doesn't have Lanius in it before. It's empty. Okay. What do we do? What do we do? We try and break the rocket launcher, I think. That's our only option right now. And people are going to start suffocating. Our Lanius are going to be all that's left in a second. Get them out of there. Mind control happened. We can't counter the mind control. Let's get in here. Our Lanius are going to kill each other. We're taking some damage. More damage. We lost the burst laser now, which is extra bad. Turn off the charge ion. Turn on these two weapons. We need to keep this online. We have no cloak. We might lose here just because of the ridiculousness of this whole affair. Let's get you out of the drone control. We don't need that right now. Go try and repair the weapons. We need shields up back online too, but we can't afford to go in there because there's no oxygen. This is tough stuff. We need to go fix our O2 right now. Hacking is almost fixed, so we can counter mind control them. Counter mind control goes now. More rockets are fired. Our drone should help protect against them still. We have nothing but the burst laser right now. You need to go fix weapons. Please block at least some of those. Okay, we took some more damage in the shields. We're still up to two bars, though, so we're not doomed there yet. We've counter hacked them as long as we could. More damage missed us, which is great. If we can repair the O2, we might be able to actually survive this. We are, like, literally on the verge of death, though. Please get some shots off. We need to hit them. We have a cloak ready so we can dodge their big attack. Oh, good. We have to dodge the rockets as well. What just happened? Phase shift. I'm not sure what just... What just happened there? I don't know. What that... Oh, that was from dodging a ton of attacks at once. That's okay. Okay, O2's back online. So, we have the chance here to not die. We're going to send our crew to go repair... 
our shields in a second. I need to have air in these rooms, though. I don't think there's enough air in them yet. If I send them in to go experiment, they will die. Let's quickly send Deputy in to check. Okay, there is air in there. We're going to send Rustler in to run the shields. We're going to send Deputy in to check this. We're going to take some more damage here in a second, no doubt. No, we managed to dodge it, surprisingly enough. We have a burst laser shot. Charge laser is now charging. Okay. Counter mind control. They lose their engine crew, which is better than nothing. We have some charges we can send at them in a second. We're not dead yet, though, surprisingly enough. We're really, really close, but we're not dead. All right, one more shot. We're going to take it in a second. Please don't hit us in anywhere important with rockets. Oh, our crew is almost dead. We lost our slug now and another bar of shields. We lost our Lanius as well. We have just about lost our entire crew and most of our systems, but we're not completely doomed yet. We will be very soon, though, because there's not much else we can do at this point. We need to get those shields back online. We need our weapons back online. Shields are highest priority, though, I think. Cloaking would be good if we can get it, but it's not as important as everything else. We're about to take a massive hit here as our crew all die. We can dodge the power surge, but it's still... Okay, good. We can dodge the power surge. I can't actually move him in there while there's no air in the room, though. Okay, close all the doors. We can afford to do that still. We still have the power there. We can dodge this... Oh, thank goodness. Everything's firing at the same time. Cloaking now. Oh, they got the Zoltan shield back online. I think we lose now. <laughs> oh, man. We, we came so close. We can repair the ship, though, with the hull repair drone. So we can turn him off, turn the hull repair drone on while we try and fix the shields. All right, we might not be dead. Shields are going back online. They're mind controlling us. We can counter mind control. Hull repairs are still happening. Burst laser in the shields. We have to fire that right now. I can get you into the weapons. No, you need to go this way. You need to go the long way around, otherwise we will die here. Alright, power surge coming in again. We might not be able to do anything about this one. This one might just kill us. Please keep missing. They've knocked out our hacking, so we can't counter hack anymore, which is not cool. Alright. Oop. Okay, they've knocked out our hacking even more. They put a breach in our hull, but we're still alive. This is going to be exceptionally, exceptionally difficult. We keep using the hull repair drone to keep us going. We might be able to do it still. Our crew is basically dead, though. More rockets coming in. We can't dodge them. I need the mind control blocked in a second. Otherwise, they will kill us with this mind control hack. There it goes. All right, let's go quickly try and fix this before we die. We can dodge out these lasers, but we have enough shields now to pr protect against them. We have a fire in here. Oh, it'll kill our Lanius. Get out of there. We have five health left. We can't hack anymore, so we're going to not be able to dodge any of this stuff. Oh my goodness, hull repair drone, keep activating. We're going to dodge these as best we can with what evasion we can get. We're going to go in here. Oh, he's going to die. Oh, he just lived. Try and fix that breach so we can potentially revive you guys. We're going to take some hits here, which is going to be bad. Oop. We've stunned him in the weapons, but he's not dead yet. We can activate the charge laser as well. We still have the hull repair drone keeping us alive. They've barely taken any damage, which is bad news. All of their crew is gone. Oh, we lost our Lanius. Okay, well, we can never repair that anymore again. We're going to lose our helm in a second, too, because we can't counter-hack, which is super bad news. We're going to die. We're done, I think, at this point. There's nothing we can do now. We're going to die. I can keep repairing the hull repair drones and keep trying to do my best here, but at this point, I don't think we can survive. We'll keep trying our hardest, but I think we're in trouble. Let's try and knock out their shields. They have nobody on the helm. We might actually be able to hit them. No, we just lost our slug. They still have crew on the helm. What am I talking about? Get in there. Fix that helm. Vent that room. We have no engines left. Okay, we're done. There's nothing we can do now. We've tried our hardest to stay alive through this mess. But we're losing all of our crew. We've lost our drone control. We are dead. There's nothing we can do now. We've tried our hardest to win with this terrible ship. But our judgment day has come. And we have been found wanting. <laughs> what a mess. Alright, well, I think that was probably the most ridiculous final stage battle I've ever fought. One last explosion marks our fate as our ship is torn apart. 4,980 scrap. A ridiculous adventure. This is some of the tests I did before where I died in the second or third jumps. But man, that is a mess of a ship. The Stealth Cruiser Type C, the VSS High Noon. We made it farther than I expected, though. Much, much farther than I expected. I will take that. I think we probably could have won if we had gotten better luck at the very beginning. But... That was definitely an exciting battle, so <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Whew! My challenge for you, beat that score. Beat 4,980. Get Beat the flagship's final stage on hard mode. 
with the Stealth Cruiser Type-C. <laughs> Give it your best shot, because I sure did. Alright, thank you very much for watching everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing some FTL here in Advanced Edition. That was a mess. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye